Karibu tena double updates popote pale ulipo mtazamaji wangu. Mimi na Tumai unaendelea vizuri kabisa. Ni Mr. Double J na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa jamani. Kule Haiti mambo yamekuwa magumu sana kwa sababu ripoti ambayo ameweka hapa uh, Waihiga Maura ni kwamba where is Haiti's prime minister the bbc has established that ariel henry left kenya on saturday evening heading to the united arab emirates a major transit hub kenyan government and police sources say mr henry took the emirates air flight from nairobi bound for dubai it is not clear whether he planned to travel on from there either to a third country or to attempt a return to port au prince via at bbc uh, barber plate uh, barber plate uh, hashtag focus on africa so yuzi alikuwa hapa nchini uh, uh, prime minister wa haiti na mliona kabisa alipofika hapa deal zilikuwa signed haraka haraka wakakubaliana na William Samoe Ruto tulikuwa tunasubiri tu matarehe za uh, mafisa wetu wa polisi kupelekwa kule Haiti ili wapambane na wana Haiti eh, niliambiwa nisiseme eh, gangs kwa sababu ukisema gang uh, watu wengine wanaelewa vitofauti sana kuna watu wengine ukiwaambia gang wanaona ni wezi ni watu ambao kazi yao ni kuvunja maduka kupiga watu risasi kuua kuiba na mambo kama hayo but uh, nilifanya uchunguzi nilifuatilia kidogo na, na nikagundua kwamba ilibidi kwa sababu sasa wananchi hawa kwa wanaelewana na serikali na kuna watu pia kwenye serikali ambao hawako wanaelewana na wenzao ikabidi waanze ku uh, support vikundi ambavyo vilijitokeza kabisa na kupigana na maafisa wa polisi na mwisho siku haiti mpaka sasa hivi tunaongea <laughs> ni ya moto kweli kweli hapa Ruto namuona uh, mtu fulani ambaye ameongeza uh, petroli uh, kwenye moto ambayo inawaka Haiti kwa sababu tangu huyu prime minister kutoka Haiti anakuja hapa kwetu mambo yamekuwa mengi sana Haiti Yuzkati hapa mmeona walizingira kabisa uh, uh, viwanja vya ndege Uh, wao wenyewe wakatoa onyo kwa prime minister ambaye alikuwa amekuja hapa kukutana na Williams kwa sababu they knew what's happening and pia <laughs> uh, Ruto sio alishindwa uh, kuzuia kuonekana kwa picha ya huu prime minister kwa sababu i think by the, uh, by the time jamaa alikuwa anaingia tayari kila mtu alikuwa amejua kwa sababu uh, mitandao ya kijamii Uh, ilikuwa na kila 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 kitu kwa sababu picha zili trend hapa kwamba uh, prime minister wa Haiti amekuja unanielewa prime, uh, prime minister wa Haiti amekuja wamekubaliana deal ilishakuwa sign eh, watu siwi tunasubiri tu tarehe ya nini na mambo kama hayo so i think walipoona uh, taarifa zikatufikia kwamba wamezingira airport wakasema jamaa sirudi huko enda akirudi huko itakuwa ni noma zaidi so Ruto I think ana, ana, anaongeza moto. Yule prime minister hata nime, nime, nimeona hawezi akarudi Haiti hivyo kiraisi. Labda aingie uh, na, na, na panya wanaita panya route. Eh watafute mbinu nyingine ya kumuingiza yule prime minister kwa sababu pale hawamtaki kwa sababu inaonekana yeye ndo anaongoza kabisa kwenye kuwaleta wanajeshi kutoka nchi zingine kuingia uh, Haiti kupigana na nani? Uh, I mean kupigana na Uh, wana Haiti kule. So story hii hapa itakuwa kubwa sana. Tunasubiri tu kuona ni siku gani watakuwa wanasafiri, uh, ni siku gani watakuwa wanasafiri mafisa uh, wetu wa polisi uh, mpaka kule Haiti na tungojea sasa mataarifa. I don't know kama hata tutaambiwa kwamba uh, fulani fulani wameuawa ama wamefaulu, but najua tukifaulu tutaambiwa though akiuawa itakuwa vigumu sana sisi kuambiwa. Uh, that's what I'm, uh, what I'm sure of. Na naweza nikaongezea kwamba Uh, tuna bunge by the way tuna senate kote kote kuna viongozi hili ni swala ambalo lilizungumziwa pale and kama kawaida yao wabunge wa UDA lakini pia vile vile senators, uh, senators wa UDA 
walipitisha swala la Haiti wakasema kwamba there is no problem bla 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 na mambo kama hayo lakini uh, ukiangalia wabunge wa wazimio nao walikataa uh, wakasema kwamba ni swala ambalo kuna mambo mengi ndani yake na ambayo uh, mwisho siku lazima tu, 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 tuyaangalie lazima tu uh, tuhakikishe kwamba kila kitu kitakaa kinakaa vizuri ndio tuwapeleke na mambo kama lakini kama kawaida majority mwisho siku huwa ndo wana wana win wana faulu so wakapitisha sababu it something ambayo you know bunge siku hizi vitu vinapelekwa tu kwa sababu you know tunapeleka kitu bunge ili fanyike nini tunapeleka kitu bunge ili isionekane kwamba kuna process fulani watu wameruka <laughs> mnaelewa serikali ambayo tunayo si eti kwamba inapelekwa bunge kwa sababu kuna kitu kipya au sasa bruto ana doubt au you know once imetoka kwake ikiingia pale anajua eh yupo tayari kabisa kwa kuipitisha yani hiyo itapita tu hakuna kitu kingine eti mtu unatakiwa kutarajia eti Ruto akisema leo hii kuna kitu kinapelekwa bunge au kwenye senate izungumziwe kule kuna kuna nani you know akina kingi akina wetangula wote wanawasiliana na, na William Samoi kwa mwisho siku sidhani kama kuna kitu kinaweza kasimamishwa and and, and uh, tukizungumzia swala la senate na bunge leo nimeona senators wa wa waazimio wa wamewachana na swala la senate wametoka nje wakisema kwamba hakuna kitu ambacho hawa watu wanatakaga watu wazungumze. Yaani hata kwenye kuzungumza hapo wao huwa wanazungumza tu ili wananchi wajue ni kitu kipi ambacho kinaendelea, labda wananchi wanaweza wakajua madhara ya, ya labda kitu ambacho wanapitisha. Unaona mambo kama but sio si kwamba huwa wana, wanazungumza au wanajadiliana eti kwa sababu ya kuizuia kama inawezekana nini. Hakuna siku hata win. You know that's it and ndo serikali ya William Samoei Ruto. Sasa so, ukiniambia kwamba kuna kitu kitakuwa kinazungumziwa kwenye bunge au kwenye senate na eti azimio ifaulu au viongozi ambao wako upande wa upinzani wafaulu then utakuwa unajidanganya mtazamaji wangu and uh, walifanya press walizungumza na vimbo vya habari wakasema kwamba yani kama kuna same uh, kuna <laughs> wajana na wachana na corruption ile nyingine ya kuiba pesa yani kama kuna same kuna maajabu naenda kwenye hizo mabunge na kwenye senate utaona kitu ambacho kinafanyika wale ni ku, ni time tu wana waste Hakuna haja kitu kingine. Ni time to on a waste end. Haina noma, acha subiri tu anaita kwaje kwaje. So wacha ni kupe nafasi uh, tazame press ambao alifanya kina Sifuna wakizungumzia tu namna ambavyo uh, nyumba hizo mbili sasa hivi ni za UDA na ni za William Samoutu. Yaani yeye tupa kitu kule discussion ifanyike UDA wa win and iskue ni kuna kitu kimerukwa. Process inafuatwa jinsi ilivyo but mwisho siku anajua ni nani anapata ushindi kama sasa hivi yule prime minister na tuli hao wabunge walikuwa nawaambia wa Kenya kwanza hao wazimio walikuwa naambia wa Kenya kwanza jamani hii haiti mtaletea watoto wenyewe shida haya prime minister mwenyewe sasa hivi anataka kuuawa kule airport umeona gereza limefungwa watu wote wametoka wame nje eh gereza limefungwa you can imagine how bad it is right now kule haiti na wanasubiriwa wanajeshi so sisi i think wabunge walichapanya i mean Um, wabunge walishafanya sehemu yao walishazungumza but ndio hivyo ikakataliwa vyombo vya habari tusha discuss sana muda mrefu ndio hivyo ikakataliwa so tusubiri tu matokeo hakuna kitu kingine watazame akina sifuna hapa mwanzo mwisho lakini ukimaliza subscribe ili uendelee kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati kwa wale ambao bado hawaje subscribe bye bye uh, kulikuwa kuna kongamano leo la nyumba nzima ya senate uh, katika kaunti ya Nairobi hoteli ya Aja ili kuweza kutathmini utendakazi wa bunge hili kwa mihula miwili ambayo imepita tangu tuchaguliwe kama wabunge wa senate na sisi kama wale walio wachache ndani ya bunge hilo tumeondoka kwenye mkutano huo kwa ajili ya unafik ambao tumeona ndani ya bunge hilo na uongozi wa bunge haswa afisi ya mheshimiwa speaker ya kwamba hatuwezi kuketi kuzungumza maswala wakati ambapo sisi kama viongozi wa walio wachache na walio wachache wote hapa wanadharauliwa na kutosikizwa wakati ambapo tunaibua maswala muhimu kuhusu utendakazi wetu na tumeweka wazi maswala mawili muhimu jambo la kwanza katiba ya Kenya inatupa sisi nguvu za kutunga sheria ndani ya bunge lakini tunataka tujue kwamba wananchi wajue kwamba nguvu hizo zimetekwa nyara eh, katika bunge la senate haiwezekani kwamba viongozi hawa waweze kuleta miswada mbele ya bunge hili ambalo linaweza kusaidia wakenya. Jambo la kwanza kujua kuhusu ili swala la miswada 
ni kwamba ukiangalia uh, mihula miwili ya bunge ambayo imepita the first session na second session kumekuwa na miswada mingi sana ambayo inaletwa ambayo inapelekea kukandamiza ukatuzi na linalofanyika wakati miswada hii inakuja kwanza inaharakishwa sana kwa mfano kwa sasa kuna mswada wa nyumba e, mbele ya bunge la senate tungependa kwamba kuwe na public participation katika county zote huo ndio msimamo wetu kama walio wachache lakini utakuta kwamba yule mwenyekiti wa kamati ya housing hataki kufanya public participation katika county zote na sisi tumesema on the record ya kwamba lazima public participation ifanywe number two, kuna hili swala la wabunge wa walio wengi kila wakati hawataki kuwe na mjadala pale bungeni kwa sababu katiba inasema lazima tutathmin zile miswada na tuweze kufanya mjadala bunge ni nyumba la mjadala lakini unapokuta kuna wengine ambao hawataki mjadala uendelee kila wakati wao ndio wenye kumuhimiza speaker kwamba kila e, seneta badala ya kupewa dakika ishirini kufanya mjadala hati tupewe dakika tatu tu na unavyoona hawa viongozi hapa ni watu wasomi wanaelewa hiyo miswada na wana mengi kusema kuhusu miswada hiyo kwa hivyo tumeona kwamba kuna shida pale ya kwamba kuna shida ya kuzuia mjadala ndani ya bunge la senate namba tu, wakati ambapo sisi kama viongozi wa upinzani haswa tunaibua miswada tofauti tofauti unakuta kwamba kwa mfano tumetoa mfano wa mheshimiwa Hamida Kibwana ambaye alipendekeza mswada kuhusu mambo ya afya ya kidijitali mswada huo pasi na yeye kuambiwa ama kujua ukachukuliwa na wizara ya afya ukageuzwa kuwa ni mswada wa kiserikali ukakimbizwa pale ndani kabla Hamida Kibwana kujua anakuta kwamba kwenye standing orders ama uh, order paper mswada huo umeletwa na si ule wake bali na watu wengine wizi wa wazi wa mawazo ambayo yanatokea kwa viongozi wa upinzani. Alafu swala la mwisho kabisa ni kwamba mimi nilipochaguliwa na viongozi hao wote walipochaguliwa katiba inatupa mamlaka ya kuwakilisha wananchi. Sikujua kwamba kuwakilisha wao wananchi nitakutana na afisi nyingine hapa ambaye inaweza kukubali nilete swala fulani ama ikataye kuleta swala fulani ili lijadiliwe mbele ya bunge. Na tumetoa mifano miwili hapa wakati ambapo eh, waziri Moses Kuria alielekeza cheche kali sana dhidi ya waandishi wa habari sisi kama walio wachache tulileta mswada wa kumjadili huyu waziri lakini speaker alikataa kuidhinisha mswada huo kwa ajili ya eh, mjadala jambo la pili kulikuwepo na mswada wa kumjadili yule ambaye anasimamia maswala ya polisi eh, IG Inspector General Kome wakati ambapo walikuwa anawapiga sana wafuasi wetu wakati wa maandamano speaker alikataa kuidhinisha mjadala huo kwenye bunge kwa hivyo ina, inaashiria kwamba mimi hata kama nimechaguliwa na kama hao viongozi wako hapa wana maswala ambayo yanahusu wananchi hatuwezi kuyaleta maswala hayo mbele ya bunge pasi na kutafuta speaker aidhinishe mjadala huo kwa hivyo haya ndio mambo ambayo tunataka kuibua na la mwisho kuna madharau ambayo yanaelekezewa viongozi wa walio wachache ndani ya bunge kwa mfano wakati ambapo barua inaandikwa kwa niaba yetu na kiongozi wetu mheshimiwa Stuart Madzai lile tunalotarajia at least at the very minimum ni kwamba atapata response ya barua hiyo na unajua mheshimiwa speaker ni wakili kama wakili mwenzake nitamwambia kwamba kiwakili ni hatia it's professional misconduct for you not to respond to correspondence when it is sent to you so kwa mfano tutakupa eh, mfano kuna barua maarafa iliandikwa na kiranja wetu mheshimiwa Uh, olekina kuhusu mabadiliko kati ya wale wanachama wa kamati tofauti tofauti barua hiyo iliandikwa mwezi wa tano mwaka uliopita kufikia leo speaker wa bunge la senate hajaona haja ya kujibu barua ya mheshimiwa olekina ndio kwa maana sisi tunaona kwamba hii ni kuendeleza ile ukandamizaji wa zile sauti za uh, viongozi wa upinzani ndani ya bunge na hasa ukitazama mijadala katika bunge utakuta kwamba ni kama kwamba wamepeana instructions kwa baadhi ya wale ambao wanaketi kwenye eh, speakers panel ya kwamba kuna viongozi wa upinzani wakisimama tu kwenye eh, floor pale ku, ku, kuzungumzia swala lolote utasikia wanawaruhusu eh, eh, hawa viongozi wa walio wengi kutoa hoja za nidhamu ambazo hazina msingi ili kuweza kuharibu ule mjadala eh, na kuna wale viongozi ambao wako notorious pale kwa floor ya kwamba kila wakati Eh, Waheshimiwa hao wakisimama kutoa hoja zao utasikia wanajaribu kuwatatiza kwa kutoa hoja za nidhamu zisizo na msingi na kuna wale ambao wako kwa panel ya speakers ambao wa, wakati ambapo wamekalia kile kiti 
wanatupa wakati mgumu sana sisi kama viongozi wa upinzani kwa kukubali hoja hizi za nidhamu zisizo na msingi na wakati mwingine kutoa adhabu kali isiyoambatana na makosa ambayo tunaweza kuwa tumesemekana tumefanya e, pasi na kuzingatia e, zile sheria za bunge na tumetoa mfano e, juzi kiongozi wetu mheshimiwa Stuart Madzayo amefukuzwa pale bungeni na mheshimiwa Veronica Maina ambaye alikuwa sasa amekalia kiti kwa sababu ambazo haziwezi kuwa supported katika sheria kivivote na tumeandika hii barua ku, kwa mheshimiwa speaker ili kulalamikia swala hili lakini hatujapata response yoyote kutoka kwa mheshimiwa speaker na ndio kwa maana tumetoa uh, ilani hii ya kwamba kwa ajili ya mambo haya yote ambayo yanafanyika ndani ya bunge letu itakuwa ni unafiki sisi kwenda kuketi kwenye mikahawa kukunywa chai pale na maandazi ila hali maswala mazito ambaye e, yanatuhusu sisi na kazi yetu kama maseneta haya shughulikiwi na niweke wazi kwamba tumekuwa na mazungumzo kama viongozi wa walio wachache ndani ya bunge na mheshimiwa speaker katika vikao vingi na akatuahidi kwamba maswala haya yataangaliwa lakini kufikia sasa hakuna onyesho lolote ama dhihirisho lolote kuashiria kwamba kunaenda kukuwa na mabadiliko jinsi ambavyo anasimamia shughuli za bunge kwa hivyo tumetoa makataa ya maswala matatu la kwanza wale watu ambao wako kwenye panel ya speakers ambao wana hii tabia na mazoea ya kukandamiza mjadala ndani ya bunge ya kutoa adhabu eh, kali dhidi ya viongozi wa upinzani pasi na kuzingatia eh, yale ma, matakwa ya sheria ya bunge waondolewe kwenye kamati ya maspika ndani ya bunge la senate jambo la pili speaker wa senate ajibu barua zote ambazo ameandikiwa kutoka kwa upande wa walio wachache kuanzia na barua hii ya kumfukuza ama complaint ambayo tumeraise kuhusu mheshimiwa Veronica Maina anavyoendesha mambo na ya pili na muhimu zaidi barua aliandikiwa mwezi wa tano mwaka uliopita kuhusu mabadiliko ya ule wanachama wa kamati za bunge ndani ya bunge la senate ya mwisho ni kwamba sisi hatutaki kufanyiwa favor zozote hawa viongozi wa upinzani ama walio wachache ndani ya bunge tunasema tunataka sheria ikate mbele na nyuma kuwe na equal application ya sheria ndani ya bunge la senate la sivyo tutaendelea na kutoa E, zile actions ambazo zitapelekea wao kututambua kama watu ambao pia sisi tumechaguliwa na tunawakilisha watu tofauti tofauti katika bunge la senate asanteni sana hayo ndio mambo ambayo tumezungumzia hapa uh, dissatisfaction in terms of the way the house is being managed we are here to fight for devolution we have a lot of and constitutional legislative proposals which are being introduced in the house and the moment we raise the concern of those and constitutionality it falls into deaf ears we have also raised uh, concern in the manner in which the leadership is treated and uh, especially by members of the speaker's panel and we feel that it is imperative that the speaker respond to these matters today it is going to affect our leader tomorrow it is affecting the entire country because we are here to defend the constitution yes. we have raised a lot of serious concerns regarding the way our own members bills are being plagiarized senator sifuna has mentioned the bill on um, digital health there is also a second bill on the public finance management which is also drafted by the same senator senator hamida who spends sleepless nights doing research to be able to come up with a legislative proposal mm -hmm. but the moment she submit the proposal through the processes of parliament one way or the other it lands into the hands of greedy hyenas waiting at the executive so that they can be able to plagiarize change the name and if, in fact if you take senator hamida's legislative proposals and you look at the other ones it's apple to apple you compare everything the only thing which is different is the name of the sponsor at the bottom so we just want to call upon the speaker to be able to lead this house in a manner which is equitable we are not asking for favors all we are asking is for us to be given an opportunity to represent our people today we are going to a hotel in in, in, in Machakos county to be able to go and discuss our success but there's no success if everything we are trying to do if these members when they are trying to debate issues the debate is stifled if these members 
when they try to raise issues, they are not given an opportunity. We have members here who, when they try to submit on any matters, they will not give given an opportunity. So we have come here to be able to demonstrate our frustration and to be able to tell the citizens that we represent that there is a crisis in this country. We are the upper house. A lot of bills will end up in court because a lot of Kenyans are out there and they are focusing on protecting devolution. Article 96 mandates us to protect devolution and also to protect counties. Now, if we cannot question a bill that has to do with housing, if the two speakers of the two houses cannot concur on that bill, on whether the matter concerns counties or not, and then the matter goes to the, uh, to the counties, it will affect our counties. The water bill, water is devolved. So what we are doing here is that we are trying to defend the Constitution. And that by doing so, our debate is stifled. By doing so, our leadership is kicked out of the House. Mm. So what do they expect us to do? Mm. So that is the reason why we are here today. Thank you. They can take copy. It's likely to play out again. What is the way for We, uh, yes, answer. That the people out there who brought us here have a right to participate in this housing bill. And they have a right to ask questions. They have a right to, to also be told exactly what to expect. There shall be, they, they, there must be consultation amongst all of us with the citizens. And that is why we are here in this house. So the issue of taking a shortcut, this is where a point of departure with a minority side comes in. Maybe you want yeah. to add so, uh, Jeff, they say that uh, they have their say and the majority will have their way. We stand here knowing that the people who are against devolution in this house far outnumber those who defend devolution. As the whip will tell you, in the minority side, we are only assured of 16 votes to defend devolution. But at the very minimum, the speaker must allow debate. They must allow us to represent our people by making sure that all the concerns about this bill is stable. So when you see a situation where Instead of allowing us to have our say, the first thing the majority do during debate of a critical bill like that housing bill mm -hmm. is to come and limit debate and say, instead of the 20 minutes that is uh, allowable, at the, everybody should just debate three for three minutes. minutes. Huh? And they are just waiting to vote. So the voting is not the, the, the only thing. If you look at uh, Article 96, it requires us to consider. Consideration of a bill does not happen during voting, no. You consider first, then debate, then you pass. So those two early stages is what we are saying are critical. During consideration of the bill, the voice of the people has to be heard. During consideration of the bill, the voice of the representative of the people must be heard. And during debate, they must allow us, although we know we are outnumbered, and Kenyans know they are out, we are outnumbered, they must allow us to put on the record the concerns and the objections of the people of Kenya on those bills. That is not happening. That is why we are saying the staffling of, of debate. There is one thing. The Senate and the National Assembly are different houses. The public participation that was done by the National Assembly does not tie to us in the Senate. Because we are considering this bill as senators and as a house we believe that it is an unconstitutional bill, we demand that there has to be public participation in the stage when we are considering this particular bill. So that we demand that all the 47 counties must pronounce themselves on this bill in terms of public participation of Mwanainchi during the time that we are considering this particular bill. That is the way forward. Thank you. For pa being patient with us and with Jeff Kirui, I had put you on speaker when you offered to buy lunch. So all of these people had. <laughs>